I've been driving the Pacific Coast Highway uh, from Southern Oregon into Crescent City, California. It's been smoky the whole way because of the fires. And I came around a corner and it was really different. Check this out. Can you guys see that? The change. Unmanipulated, natural color. Sometimes this week's video is a bit shorter than normal. Sorry about that. I spent most of the week driving to get away from the fires and smoke. Okay, so I'm uh, across the California border. Visibility is about 200 yards, and uh, it's thick though. I mean, I'm windows up, AC on, trying to clean the air up. I always ask people, what's a perfect moment? Perfect moment? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> my perfect moment is, is on the boat to an efficient. Right on. <laughs> yeah. What's your perfect moment? Uh, I love halibut fishing, catching a big halibut. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Catching a big yeah. halibut's fun. Yeah. The fires are still burning, and uh, I had to move uh, twice yesterday just to get out of the smoke. I'm probably gonna move again today, so I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to edit today like I had originally planned. A little fishing village, super neat place. The, uh, I'll kind of rotate around here so you can see, the skies are still full of smoke. Not as bad as it was yesterday. Uh, I had to move twice because, to avoid the smoke, but I'm here now, um, waiting on information about the roads opening and closures. Hopefully uh, 101 will reopen, it's closed right now. I don't know if I'm stuck here. I might have to abandon the Pacific Coast Highway trip just simply because of the fires. The roads are closed, but I'll know shortly. Get back to you soon, guys. How big's your boat? It's a 26 foot. So my name is Daniel Isaac Statham. My, my perfect moment. My perfect moment is um, probably on top of a mountain um, for sunrise, waking up. Uh, and there's just like this beautiful, beautiful gradient and like the moon is coming down and it's like the stars are coming down a little bit too. And, uh, and you just see the sun coming up and, and the colors everywhere, and uh, mountains everywhere. Yeah, I think, I think that's the perfect moment for me. Yeah. Awesome.
Um, so I just found out, unless it gets canceled, I have my first art fair in two weeks in Florence, Arizona, which means I've got a lot of work to do to get myself ready. It's been six months since I've shown my work at an, at an outdoor event, and um, I have a lot of new work, as you guys know, that follow me on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, blah, 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 all that stuff. So what I'm doing today, uh, before I start editing my new uh, video for this week, is I'm going to spend a little bit of time just going through work, setting up some frames, trying to look at um, some new new booth layouts. So here's what I do is I actually, if you can see that or not, I create mock-ups of my walls. And so then I can uh, get an idea of how things flow together. So I'll put all my Im my images on different different setups like this and kind of piece them together and get an idea of what my booth will look like. So you guys, this is my last day on the coast. Um, I had planned on driving all the way to San Diego, but because of the fires and COVID and being California, there's not a lot of places for me to stay. What that means though, is a lot of the state campgrounds and the federal campgrounds are closed either because of COVID or the fire, which is pushing everybody around. Uh, I've been moving and constantly trying to stay out of the smoke. And once I get below San Francisco, there's nowhere for me to stay. And uh, there's not even Walmarts, there's nothing. And well, I guess this means I'm just gonna have to go inland. Hang in there, everybody. We'll get through this. After nearly a thousand miles running from the smoke and fires, I ended up at a friend's vineyard near Paso Roble, California. It's called Bonich Cellars. It's an amazing little place. This part of the country has superb wines, although I'm not an expert by any means. But the next couple weeks videos are going to be about how I'm learning how to make wine a very high, a very sophisticated level of winemaking on a, the, the boutique artistic scale. All the vineyards here are about 10 acres, so it's uh, going to be an amazing place, and I'm really excited to share it with you. Tell them what I'm doing today. <laughs> Steve is learning the fine art of leafing, so that's pulling all of the leaves out. 